Warning, today's episode of Kotecki TV contains an ending that may disturb young children. Parents, please be advised. It's Thursday, October 30th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki, welcome to the show. I hope you all enjoyed last night's Obama infomercial. I personally found it to be a delightful autumn romp through all the same stuff he's already said a million times. But now that we have this internet thing, it's not too hard to find other, more entertaining things to watch. And yesterday on Politico's congressional campaign blog, The Scorecard, I found this ad from incumbent North Carolina Senator Elizabeth Dole, in which she attacks her opponent, Kay Hagan. A leader of the Godless Americans PAC recently held a secret fundraiser in Kay Hagan's honor. Godless Americans and Kay Hagan. She hid from cameras, took godless money. What did Hagan promise in return? There is no God. See, godless money is a lot like regular money, except that once you drop it in the collection plate, it turns into a lump of smoldering, sinful ash. Now, this ad works for a number of reasons. First of all, you can clearly tell that those people are godless heathens. It is so obvious from their body language that they are in the middle of blaspheming the Holy Spirit. But what really seals the deal for me is the voice at the end yelling, There is no God. Now, that may not be Kay Hagen's voice per se, but that's totally what she would sound like if she did deny God, which she obviously did at some point because, I mean, just look at the picture. Next up, Joe the Plumber might get a record deal. I'll say that again. Joe the Plumber might get a record deal. He just signed with a Nashville public relations and management firm and could put out a country music album just in time for the inauguration. Now don't tell me you're not at least a little bit curious to hear it. Can an unlicensed plumber made arbitrarily famous for political reasons make beautiful music? America wants to know. Also, I'd put the odds of the music video including a plunger-based guitar solo at 75%. So, uh, yeah, that'll be cool. By the way, Joe, even though you might not be plumbing anymore, probably a good idea to keep plumber in your stage name because Samuel the Celebrity doesn't quite have the same everyman ring to it. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash for more videos and send in your political Halloween pictures. This is your last day. And don't worry, if you ever hear me saying anything that could be potentially damaging to my reputation, it's probably just a nefarious voice impersonator right here on Kotecki TV. There is no Santa Claus!